nice. I could literally just stay here until the end of time. Good morning everyone, we are in the beautiful island of Koh Tao in southern Thailand and today we're going to be bringing you along on a full day of activities what we get up to here. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> We've just woken up here at the Tarnal Line Resort. It is a gorgeous hotel and we've actually stayed in this hotel once before back in 2019 and it's just as beautiful now so nice as it back. was back then it is so nice to be back it's such memories this time though we actually got an upgrade to a sea view room and the views are gorgeous waking up here and walking out and seeing the beautiful sea just outside of Koh Tao is like a dream come true the room is equipped with pretty much everything that we need and you know how much we love a good bed this bed here is one of the most comfortable bed I've ever slept on. Uh, definitely <laughs> ever ever is like sleeping on we a can, cloud. We can wake up at seven in the morning and have a full rest of sleep. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. It's <laughs> so energized in the morning. Before we do anything else I think it's probably time to head down to the breakfast which is also included in the room's cost. We just realized Dylan forgot to put on his swim trunks and he's literally just wearing his chinos from this morning. Uh, so he's dashing back to the hotel to get some swim trunks because I think this little island paradise isn't quite the same if you can't get in the water. I got it. Back here? Yeah. I'm glad we made it. Wow. It's not like anyone was waiting, was yeah, it? <laughs> We're the only two people except for that little boy on the boat. Yeah. So that's good. I've never been here before, but look at that beach. It's 
So here there's a little beach that goes right in between these two islands here. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so to get on this island, you have to pay 200 baht per person. Um, according to Dylan, it used to be 100 baht, but now it's 200. I was expecting a lot more tourists to be here. Hopefully, we can pick up some towels. Because we heard they weren't allowed to bring towels. We also weren't allowed to bring plastic, but I'm holding a plastic bottle. I don't know if I was meant to give that away over there. Um, but there was a thing before that said they weren't allowed to bring towels because they used to take the sand away and the beach was kind of eroding. So hopefully we can get a towel or a lounger or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we didn't bring one. <laughs> We have just placed ourselves down here. As you can see, we now have a towel. So when we got here, I said, I don't think we're allowed to bring towels, but everyone else had towels. So I don't know where I got that information from. Uh, but anyway, we had to buy a towel. There was no renting. I didn't, I didn't want to buy two because one was 300 baht. So we're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna have one. We're just gonna have uh, a little lie down here because these rocks, you can't, well, this sand here, you can't sit down on it. It's way too shelly. It's really um, rough. You comfortable? Mm, very comfortable. This is very nice. <laughs> so we're just going to stay here for about, I think we got three hours in total here until 1 p.m. Should we go for a dip? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna head back to our boat now. Um, ours is at one, but it seems like everyone else's, everyone else's uh, boat must have been at 12 because there's not that many people left on this beach. Um, but that's pretty nice, but we've topped up our tan. So it's nice to just lay there for a while. A little it is just sunbathe. so peaceful to have like a beach. I think a pool yeah. is really, really nice, but like a proper beach. But also here, there's no way you can go. So yeah, so you have to relax. Yeah. <laughs> But now we're starving, so oh, let's yeah. go grab some food. <laughs> Talk about sitting on the beach. I think we've just started as well. There's building works going on behind me, but apart from that, it's very, very relaxing here. We're sat on the beach in a cafe called Cafe Culture. Uh, they've got an actual cafe on the, um, that's not on the beach as well. Uh, but we're having a panini. I'm having a panini with salam salami and cheese. You're having... Mozzarella, tomato, and I think like pesto. Mm. It looks, it looks so nice. Fries. Yeah. <laughs> and two drinks. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, and <laughs> she's off again. <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> we're seeing what we were eating. And um, yeah, my cup. cup. Even though we eat pretty much Thai food all the time, as you've seen from our Thai street food challenges. Sometimes it's just nice to have a panini and some fries on the beach. <laughs> it just yeah. feels like such holiday vibes. Yeah. You seem to never eat bread. No, I don't. <laughs> like, they don't... There's not that much bread in Thailand, so it's nice to have a little panini every now and then. Cheers. <laughs> I guess... Yeah. <laughs> good? Super good. Uh -huh.
So that was actually the first time I or Dylan had ever had a foot massage and it was actually really, really painful. Really, no, I was going to say really nice. It was really painful. It was for painful me. for Dill. My feet felt like they were on fire. <laughs> it was like they were them. using like a mint cream, but it was so nice. I would 100 billion percent do that again. That must be the room service. Yay! Ta -da. Our room service just got here. We got a Pat Krapau guy for me with a fried egg and rice. It's come on two separate plates. Um, looks like a really big portion. <laughs> and Adriana's got a Pat CU prawn. Yeah. Looks awesome. And we just sat here with the sunset going down. <sighs> This balcony is awesome. It is so nice. It's the icing on the cake of what's been such a relaxing and such a chill day. If you've enjoyed coming along on this very relaxing island day, then you might like the video that's on the screen right now, which is quite different, but it is a full 24 hours in Bangkok where we tried to spend only $10 each. <laughs>